Hello lovely people, welcome to my channel. My name is Beck. I'm a 42 year old mum with three children. I upload lots of haul videos, day in the life videos, a bit of cooking and cleaning. So um, if that's your kind of thing and that's what you like to watch on YouTube, um, if you could like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, that would be absolutely fantastic. It would be lovely to have you here with me on my journey and it would really, really help my channel to grow and I'd appreciate it so much. Um, so everybody else, all my existing subscribers, welcome back guys, hope you're all good. How's everyone doing? Are you having a nice weekend? It's, I should have filmed this yesterday, but mum life took over like it always does and I never got round to it. So I'm filming it today. Today is Sunday the 3rd of September. Um, it's officially spooky season as far as I'm concerned because I think the 1st of September is autumn, isn't it? Isn't it officially autumn the 1st of September? Could be wrong on that, but I think it is. Um, so yeah, how are you all doing? What's everyone doing? It's really, really sunny here in the UK today. I think next week we're supposed to be having a bit of a heat wave by all accounts. So looks like we're going to have a little bit of a last minute summer slipping in there somewhere because we haven't had much so far, have we? <laughs> So yeah, I hope everyone's good. I hope you're having a nice weekend. I am in the house on my own at the minute, which is quite nice, not gonna lie, because it's just been chaos. I said this the other day, we're trudging through those last few days, my friends. It's the last few days. The kids go back on Tuesday and Wednesday, my two do. So there's only a few days left of the summer holidays and God love them. I mean, I love my kids to bits, but I think you get to this point and you're just ready, aren't you? You're ready, they're ready. The neighbours are ready. <laughs> yes, um, it's all good. I have got a cup of tea. Oh, sorry, you went a bit wobbly there. I've got a cup of tea on the go in my first seasonal mug for you today. This was my pumpkin mug that I got from Home Bargains last year. I've got a coffee on the go. You can just see it in there. Um, so yeah, this is the first, introducing the first seasonal mug of the, of the year, my friends. Um, I've got a couple of Halloween mugs. But yeah, this is one of my one of my favourites actually. I really like it. It's just something like they've got them in again this year. Quite you know different. Well, quite similar to last year. But there's a there's a couple of new ones like autumnal mugs and stuff that are in that I want to get, which I've not been able to yet. But this is yeah, bottoms up. If you'd like to join me for today's video, then grab a cuppa, tea, coffee, whatever you fancy, bottle of wine. <laughs> Whatever's getting you through the day, my friends, whatever's getting you through these last few days, the mums and dads out there. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm coming today with a Home Bargains haul. I didn't realise it's been so long since I've been to Home Bargains and done a haul for you. Um, it was six months since I've done a Home Bargains haul on this channel. I can't believe it. So I've been and I've got loads of cleaning stuff, toiletries, stuff like that. And I've got three cheeky Halloween items, which I have bought because I know if I didn't get them, they'll be gone because the Halloween stuff goes like a fart in the flipping wind, especially in home bargains. So I see, I saw these items last week, I think it was, and they're going fast. So I've picked them up. I'm going to show you those last. I'll show you those at the end. I'll show you the other bits first. I do apologize if you're not in for the, if you're not in the Halloween spirit at the minute, especially on a hot day like today. Um, if you're not, if you're not in the mood for it, but yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Right, let's get started, otherwise I'll be waffling on for three hours and you'll be getting bored. Right, first of all, I picked up, I have opened it because I've just put some washing on with it. I Because I bought this all yesterday, I've just not, yeah, I'm only just doing it. So this, I bought this yesterday, so I've had to put a, a load on. Um, it's a big, huge box of Daz. This was 11 99 it's 80 washes. Whites and colours, it's huge, it's massive, it will last me quite a while hopefully. I don't usually get Daz, but I was at my sister-in-law's house and I said to her, oh, what's that? She had a tumble dryer on, I said, oh, what have you got in there? It smells lovely. And she said, oh, it's Daz. So I um, saw this, it was the cheapest sort of large, big bulk washing powder they had. They did also have the Purcell, which was 77 washes for 11 99 but I opted for the Daz. So yes, that's my first item. And to go with that, I picked up some Lenore. This is the Lenore Summer Breeze, which I love. This is my favourite Lenore scent. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think this was like $3.49, if I remember rightly. It's 52 washes. There was more in it than that, but obviously I've used it a bit. So yeah, picked up some Lenore. Um, because yeah, I just, I love fabric softeners. You know, they just elevate the smell of your washing, don't they? Right. 
I'll show you all my cleaning stuff first. This is, oh actually no, this goes along with me washing powder as well. Back to school obviously means the shirts all coming back out, the white shirts. Leo's got to wear actual shirts as well this year and all the white polo shirts as well. So with that in mind, I always have some of the... So sorry, I didn't realise my phone was going flat then. It's just, yeah, cut out on me. So I've just had to put it back on charge. <laughs> Where was I? Um, yes, some of the pink stuff. I don't usually go for the pink stuff. I know a lot of people love it. They really rate it, don't they? Not because I don't like it. I've just not really tried it all that much before. But um, I picked up some of the pink stuff, Oxy Powder. Um, stain remover this is the whites one they do do one that's for whites and colors but this is just for the whites I think using these things in your washing with your whites makes such a difference I've been doing it for quite a long time now and they really do help to keep those whites white I usually have the astonish one this the astonish stain remover the whitening one but I would imagine this works exactly the same just as well I think it was like 349 and they're a lot cheaper than the um, What's the, the, it's Vanish, isn't it? The, the the main brand one. So yeah, pick some of that up to go in with the school uniforms once they go back to school. It's a kilogram as well, one kilogram. And these last ages because, you know, you don't always do many white white, white loads, do you? And it only you only need like one scoop. So they last ages and they really are worth getting. They do make a massive difference to, you, to your clothes. Right, I've got a massive, it is a huge bag that I've got here, by the way. Massive bag. Um, next, I will show you what should I do next. Oh, I got some of the refills for my Dishmatic. Um, if you know, you know that I love a Dishmatic. I think they're fantastic. Picked up a pack of these because my other ones have gone. I had, I had the pink ones before. They are more for glass, I think, you know, when you're cleaning glasses out and things. Whereas these are more for, for the pots and pans. So um, I picked these ones up this time because I think they just last a little bit longer. I think these were only like £1.29, something like that. Um, so yes, picked up some of those for my Dishmatic. Um, next, I got, quite boring, some bin liners. Pedal bin liners because we needed some new ones for the bin. This is a pack of 50, 22 litres. Um, so yeah, pick some of those up. Uh, next, oh, I've got some more of the pink stuff. Um, I've got a few items, actually, pink stuff this time. This is their toilet cleaner. Kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. I'm going to give it a go because I've, I've never really had it before. Um, I think this was £1.15, if I remember rightly. I didn't keep my receipt, guys. Oh, I threw my flipping receipt away. I'm a nightmare. I really am, so I'm having to guess a bit. I do apologise. But yeah, my bathroom needs a massive clean. It really does. The summer holidays, everywhere's got a little bit grubby. And I think because the kids are just at home all the time, you just think, what's the point in going all out on it every day? Because you can't keep on top of it. You really can't. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give the house a really good clean tomorrow. Um, I might do some filming for that. So yeah, next I picked up some sponges, just some basic scouring sponges. I think these are like 49p. Pack of 10. I mean, that's great, isn't it? I'm going to use those in the bathroom tomorrow to really get in there into that dirt and grime. <laughs> so yeah, pick some of those up. Um, and with that in mind, I got some of the pink stuff. Miracle bathroom foam cleaner. I mean, it says it foams. So, I mean, it just it's just a liquid, but it says it foams. So bathroom foam cleaner. Yeah, we'll give it a go, see what it does. I think when you're cleaning the bathroom, it's nicer to have a foam, isn't it? It seems to clean nicer. I don't know why. And this is the bigger 850ml bottle. If I remember rightly, I think that was £1.15, something like that, a pound. They're all so cheap, which is brilliant, you know, it's it's you can't beat home bargains, I don't think. Next, I picked up some Astonish Kitchen Cleaner. This is the Zesty Lemon. I love these products. Astonish, I think they're absolutely fantastic. They're so cheap. Um, their sprays like this are between 89p and 99p. I think this was one of the 99p ones they clean fantastic they're vegan and cruelty free which is a big bonus isn't it um yeah really really nice i should imagine that would smell lovely i love lemony when you're cleaning something lemony is always nice isn't it it really feels like you're you're doing a good clean when you've got that scent coming out so yeah pick some of that up because i'm all out of spray from the kitchen um i got some bathroom wipes these are really cheap in aldi Aldi home they are cheap in Aldi but these aren't Aldi's home parkings <laughs> pack of 50 bathroom wipes just to go around you know help out with what I'm doing yeah really cheap I think they're like 49p something like that and they last ages you know because you don't use them 
don't use them all the time so they'll last me quite a while um i picked up some of these wipes as well these are the toilet wipes the flushable toilet wipes which i think with kids are just so much better than normal toilet paper you know kids they don't wipe properly do they yeah you give them these and they do a better job of it so yeah i picked up two packs of these these were i think they were 49p each if i remember rightly 49 or 59p and they are packs of 50 so they quite last quite a while i have one in the toilet downstairs one in the bathroom upstairs and yeah they're just great for the kids they really are they're fantastic um so yeah picked some of those up um what else did i get cleaning oh i like this i wanted a new air freshener for my toilet downstairs i used to have the is it the glade or the Airwick ones they come in like a singular or, or they're either single or a pack of two they're like an oval shape a little air freshener and you press something in at the back and they are great they smell fantastic but they aren't cheap they're quite expensive well i saw these and i thought i'm going to give these a go it's the Airwick essential oils pink pink sweet pea it's this tiny little air freshener look i presume you take the... ah ah right okay so you take the top off it looks like a tin of beans look <laughs> you'll see open it up there and then you've got this lid that goes on it which opens and closes look like that so you put it back on when you've opened it 69p 69p that was there was two in fact i wish i got two really there was um this sweet pea and then like a sea breeze scent but i thought i'd give this one a go but 69p for a nice little you know air fresh especially in a small space like my toilet downstairs i mean that's a bargain isn't it really really good price i bet they're not that cheap in other shops but um so yeah i'm gonna give that a go i'll let you know i'll let you know i get on with that because i thought that was brilliant um i picked up some new pegs for the line I got some from Poundland a while ago, guys. I don't know if you remember. Cheap, really cheap Poundland pegs. Don't bother with them. They're crap. They broke. I hung one item of clothing up and they, that was it. They were just... In fact, some I didn't even manage to hang anything up with. I went to open them and they just collapsed in my hand. Don't buy those ones. If you go back on my video and you see them, yeah, never buy them. So I picked some of these up from Home Bargains. I have had Home Bargains ones before and I've never had a problem with them. This is just a pack of 36. I think these were like 89p if I remember rightly, which is, you know, fantastic for 36 pegs. These are a lot more substantial. I would say they're going to be fine. Because, um, yeah, I just always seem to lose all my pegs. I really do. I don't know what it is, but I just seem to lose pegs left, right and centre. Strange thing to lose, but there you go. Um, next. Oh, it's all toiletries now. Oh, I'll show you these first, though. These have got absolutely battered in the box. They've been in the back of the car since yesterday and i don't know i reckon rich must have been driving around and they've just gone left all, all over the place and it's all they've all broken but i got a pack of the nest cafe gold i got these when we were on holiday in cornwall and i really really like them got them from home bargains when we were down there they're like one pound 29 which i think is a bargain because you get five in a pack it, these are the vanilla latte and they are gorgeous i really really like them I've never really bought these before. You know, they're the sort that you put the sachet in. You don't need any milk, sugar or anything. It's all in it. But they are really, really nice. So I picked some of those up. Excuse the packaging. But then also, I saw they had these in Aldi. I've seen this brand before. I don't know what they're like. It's Mocat. Mocat Gold Latte Caramel. They're basically, it's like a dupe for those ones, isn't it? For the Nescafe ones. They were 89p though, these were. And there's 10 in a pack. So I thought I'm going to give these a go, see what they're like. And um, if they're nice, then that's an even cheaper way of doing it. Plus you get more. They might be horrific. They might be horrendous. But I'm going to give them a go because it will be worth it for 89p for 10 sachets. So I picked some of those up. They've ripped open as well, look. Look at that. So yeah, pick some of those up as well. I'm, I'm getting into coffee a little bit more at the minute. I'm usually tea girl, but I've got into coffee a bit more. Right, it's all toiletries now. Um, firstly, I picked up some of the Astonish um, body bubble bath. Bubble bath, sorry. I didn't realise until a while ago that Astonish actually does like, does like toiletries. I just thought it was cleaning products. But these are brilliant. I've had these before. Um, this is the golden glow one which smells lovely it's like all it's got all like apricots peaches in it and stuff like that it's a really really nice scent i think they are like 99p if i remember rightly 950 mils they last ages that lasts a long time i love a bath i just love a soak in the bath you can't beat it even when it's hot so yeah picked some of that up um then i also picked up some shower gel i always go for either the cousins carex or the 
what's the other one there's one it's like a milk honey milk one i can't remember what palm olive that's it but i went for the cousin's carrot so it's just the bog standard one it's not one of like you know the fancy sort of tropically scents it's just the moisture plus 500 ml that was 99p um so yeah pick some shower gel up and they they always last quite a long time so that's good um i also got two of the poofs the bath poof puff puff poof <laughs> whatever you call them i love these because i think they make your products go um last a bit longer you put a little bit on and you use one of these and they just yeah the bubbles just erupt and the one we had the couple the few that we had they're looking a bit ropey so i thought i'll throw them out and get some new ones i think they were like 39p 49p guys cheap as chips and yeah they're just brilliant so pick some of those up um i got zella some shampoo this is the garnier ultimate blends kids two in one shampoo and detangler it's the apricot and cotton flower it's like their lion king one <laughs> now i usually buy the one that's 89p in home bargains it's like a detangling one in that's you know it's like cheaper brand but it's 89p this was like two pound 49 which i was a bit unhappy to pay but i really needed some for her hair because she needs something like this something with detangling in it um because her hair gets really knotty so i i picked some of that up i'm sure it's lovely yeah it smells nice it's just very sort of apricotty you know sort of tropically type scent so yeah pick some of that up for her um i got myself a new hairbrush because my one that i usually use or you know the little bits on the end that stop it from being all sharp um they've all come off and i've i'm using it and i feel like i'm brushing my hair with some sort of torture device and then <laughs> Stella said to me the day she said mum why have you got scratches all down your neck and i was like what do you mean looked in the mirror and i did look like i don't know freddie krueger had a go at me or something like there was just <laughs> red marks all down my neck so yeah picked picked a new hairbrush up this is james london radial brush it was like 99p if i remember rightly so yeah I, li I like the round ones as well the nice round ones so yeah that's cheap isn't it for a hairbrush um i got myself some new face cream i got the garnier skin active essentials anti-wrinkle yes please day cream <laughs> I like the Garnier. I they do Garnier and Nivea in home bargains. I'm not so so keen on the Nivea face cream. I think it's quite greasy, quite oily. I love their body spray, their body lotions. I love their suntan lotions, but their face cream, it always feels really greasy when I use it. So I went for the Garnier. Um, I've had this one before. I know. I know. I like it. Um, it's just you know, it's how much is it? It's I think it's fifty mil. It's got a really nice scent to it. And it feels nice on my skin. That was like £2.49, I think that was. So pick some of that up. Um, I got some toothpaste for me, for me and Rich and the kids. I love home bargains for toothpaste because you can get the good brands for really cheap. This all will be one, it's anti cavity white and whitening and freshening, big pack. That was 79p, which I think is really cheap for toothpaste. I mean, they, you know, you can buy toothpaste in Aldi. But it's, I think it's, you know, it's, it's not like the main, one of the main brands, is it? Um, so yeah, for Oral B, I don't think that's bad, 79p. And then I also got the kids, I always get this one for the kids, the Oral B 6 Plus, so it's great for both of them. That is 99p. That's more than the, the more than the normal one, strangely enough. But yes, it's, yeah, they need just some new toothpaste. So how much is in that? uh that's 75 mils that one is so yeah pick them up some toothpaste and then to go along with that i also got them some mouthwash i always get this one it's the wisdom step by step six plus it, the kids love this one because it's a really nice mild mint it's not too strong in their mouths some of them that i've got for the kids before are quite strong whereas this is a really nice mild mint flavor and it's one of the cheapest as well i think it's I think this is like 79p 89p um so yeah just it's just nice to use afterwards isn't it you know they can just you know that it gets rid of anything else that they've they've missed in their teeth so yeah pick some of that up for them um and that's it for everything apart from my free beautiful halloween items which i will be showing you i'm so excited for halloween guys you if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i love halloween i'm slightly obsessed with it so yes as soon as it all starts coming out i love it i absolutely love it i can't wait for it so yes i've picked up three items for halloween that i was on the hunt i wanted these items he was these were some of the specific items that i wanted i got the first thing i got was this one of these haunted house fleece throws it's just a fleecy blanket 
if you can see it was 4.99 which i don't think is too bad at all for a for a throw is it or a blanket you know it's very similar to the ones you get in home sense tk max but you're looking at a lot more than 4.99 in there you're looking at probably more 10 15 pounds it's just got really nice um what is it pumpkins skeletons cats cobwebs ghosts all of that good halloween stuff there going on um and yeah i just love it i, I love it we're mad about a throw in a blanket in this house we've got loads of them I, I keep them behind the sofa and there's just we've got so many but the dog destroys them he destroys them so i'm always throwing them out and buying new ones so yes this is and always i've always wanted a halloween one one for halloween so yeah got one of those because these are selling out quick hand bargains can be quite repetitive with their festive decor and stuff you know halloween christmas it tends to be the same stuff every year but i've not seen these before so i think they're going to be quite popular so yeah grab one of those secondly i got one of these because i think they look lovely and i think they're really really good price wise um and it's one of the stacks the three stacks of pumpkins that say boo i think it's aesthetically gorgeous i love it i love the pattern i love the colors the black the white and the orange it says boo we've got the black one here with the polka dots and then at the top we've got the white one with the cobwebs on it 2.99 2.99 for that which i think is that's good isn't it i think that's brilliant yet again this looks very similar to loads of items that i was seeing in home sense loads of stuff like this but in there you're looking at over a tenner 10 15 pounds so 2.99 for that that's going to be a really really nice addition to my halloween collection this year i'm going to just stick it there for now there we go <laughs> and like i said they're going they're going quick because i've not seen one of those before so i think when there's new stuff people you know buy it snap it up quickly don't they and this last item i saw this online actually and um i thought oh, i so want that i've never been a gonk person before they're very popular aren't they but like at christmas i don't really go for them but for halloween i saw this one and she's gorgeous look it's a witch gonk she's got a stripy tights on and her little boots <laughs> and a hat a witch's hat with a little nose sticking out the bottom look and oh how gorgeous is that i love it i absolutely love it 3.99 that was which i think yet again is an absolute bargain she's gonna sit on my fireplace i think this halloween and I don't know, I just saw and I thought, I really, really, really want one of those. So I went in specifically to try and get one and I managed to get one. So I'm really, really pleased with that. I just, I just love it. I don't know what it is about it. She's got a little felt hat on with a little buckle, the gold in the buckle, all the, the beard. And then <laughs> little tights. Oh, I just love it. You know, and it goes really nice with that, doesn't it? With the pumpkin over there. So yeah. Just so cute. Yeah, you can sit here with me, look. <laughs> what shall I call her? I need a name. She needs a name. <laughs> Got to think of something. <laughs> I just, oh my God. Oh, just ignore me, please, guys. I'm a nightmare. Right, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have got the house to myself at the minute. Rich is out fishing with Ella again. They've been doing loads of fishing at the minute, which she's really, really enjoying. And Leo's gone to his friend's house for a birthday party and he's having a sleepover tonight. So I'm on my own, guys. I might go and sit in the sun in the garden and, um, you know, have a glass of gin. <laughs> Why not? Do you want to join me? <laughs> Look, she, she's going to join me in the garden. She really is. So yeah, uh, I hope you're all good. I hope you're all well. I'll be back soon with another video. Um, I'm going to try and go to the charity shops again this week, see if I can find anything. Um, but until then, my friends, take care of yourselves. Um, have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.